welcome to a new video lecture today we will discuss a new topic that is moving loads and influence line diagrams so in this video lecture we will discuss the concept of influence line diagram and also the practical application of influence line diagram so with the definition we will introduce the new concept that is ILD or influence line diagram it is defined as the graphical representation of the function that is reaction that supports shear force bending moment and axial force at a particular section for a unit load moving over the span so so don't worry about the definition with an example i will explain this concept so let us consider let us consider a simply supported beam and the span is small l and these points are two points are a and b here a person let us assume the weight of this person as 1 kilo newton okay just assumption only 1 kilo newton and this person is traveling from when x equal to 0 to x equal to a okay so we have to determine when this person travels from each point what will be the reaction occur so if you consider the first case let this person at this point at this starting point okay so if this person at the starting point then what will be the reaction values ra and rb <coughs> what will be the values if this person is standing here and the weight is 1 kilo newton obviously the value of ra will be reaction ra will be 1 kilo newton and rb value is going to be 0 okay the person at the point x equal to 0 then we are going to another condition that at the, after some point of time the person reached at this point let us assume this point at a distance x okay so what will be the reaction values r a and r b this value is going to be l minus x so very easily you can find out the value of this one is 1 kilo newton so r a plus r b equal to as usual you can take r a plus r b equal to 1 and sigma m a equal to 0 or sigma m b equal to 0 taking Mom, uh, taking moment about any points so either you can write down as 1 the reaction at r a equal to 1 multiplied by l minus x by total span length or and the r b distance equals 1 multiplied by x equal to l so this is the case when the body traveled at a distance x from the joint then coming to another case here the body is traveled and reached at this point okay the body is right now here so what is the values of r a r equal to 0 and r b equal to r b equal to 1 kilometer so this is the case various cases of the body traveling through a simply supported beam so then we will come to the general case that already we discussed here that is these are the points span length is small l and this distance a b let us take the weight that is 1 kilo newton that is the body weight is 1 kilo newton at a distance x and this distance is going to be l minus x so what is the reaction already discussed r a equal to are equal to 1 multiplied by l minus x by l or and r b equal to 1 multiplied by x by l if you find it difficult to find out you can take this one r a plus r b equal to 1 then sigma m a equal to 0 you will get the same answer okay then then we can take the situations when x equal to 0 okay that means the body is at a point A. Then what is the value of R? R we know the equation of L minus L minus x by L. 
what is the value of R x? L by L that is 1. Then when x is equal to L, then what about the value of R x? R is going to be L minus L by L that is 0. Okay. So this is the case for reaction at the reaction R x for various cases when x equal to 0 and x equal to L. Then when x equal to 0, what about Rb, reaction of B? What about Rb? Rb value we know that x by L. So when x equal to 0, it is going to be 0. Then what about Ra? Ra value, Ra value will be, that is when x is, sorry, when x equal to L, Rb value is going to be L by L, that is 1. So we have to draw the diagrammatic representation for this R and R B right now. So this is our x equal to 0 and x equal to L. First case we will consider that is reaction at the A. When x equal to 0 the value is going to be 1 and when x equal to L the value is going to be 0. So this is the diagram. ILD for reaction A. Then similarly this is x equal to 0 and here x equal to L. Then what about Rb? x equal to 0 and y is going to be 0 and R when x equal to L, Rb is going to be 1. So the y is going to be in this way. ILD is for Rb. So this is the basic structure for a B and here we note down the representation of reaction Ra and Rb. And the practical application of this influence line diagram is that if you take a bridge, there are so many moving loads, that is, that means vehicles are going through. So, at which point the shear force or bending moment is very maximum. So, if, if that value is not down, then structural engineers can easily redesign those portions. So, that is the main application of the influence line diagram. So, the further lectures we will discuss more about the shear force bending moment for the simply supported beam then overhanging beam and uh, further problems related when UDL and some other point loads are acting over the beam we will discuss in the coming lectures. So with this we will wind up today's section. Thank you all.